All right, guys, so check it out. We're remodeling the kitchen. Um, I'm not sure if you guys seen how it was before, but this is how it is right now. We're going to try to put some pictures so that way you guys can at least get an idea of how the kitchen was before. There's that. We have popcorn ceiling. Um, this is there because there was a little, like, little island where you can sit here. Um, but yeah, all this popcorn. It's gonna get taken off. This old chandelier is gonna get taken off. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much covering everything right now. Like that. And there it is. That's how it looks. So, if you guys wanna see more, just keep on watching so that way you guys get updated as we post more videos. But this is before how the kitchen looks. Yeah, I want, when you guys see it again, you guys are gonna notice a big Big difference. All right, guys. So we're putting we're putting tape right here, so that way we can cover. Because today we're taking off all the popcorn ceiling. Everything is coming down, make it look new. And then also, I don't think I told you guys, but this piece here. It's coming out and then we're gonna put a recessed lighting upgrade that also so all this all this popcorn is coming out all right guys so this is how it's looking here we got this side of the ceiling, all oh, this got taken off. We still need that little corner right there. And then we got to put our recessed lighting because we before we only have, well, had this chandelier for light and that's it. So we're going to put recessed lights now. You guys are going to be seeing the process and we're doing the framing right now for the kitchen. So pretty much the kitchen is going to be an L shaped all the way here. And then we're going to have an island in the center. Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure you guys are annoyed of hearing Jesse's voice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I just picked up the camera and I wanted to show you before the guy gets here. What we've done so far. So Jesse took out the floor. Um, because I don't know if he told you guys, but we're going to get new floors. So he took this out yesterday and we're going to do something, a little something here. Um, I don't know if Jesse has told you guys, but if he hasn't, then you guys will see what we're going to do here. Um, the guy's going to come today and he's going to, you guys will see what he's going to do. And then this was done yesterday. The electrician came and he put the lights and then the guy that's gonna come right now is also gonna um, close down the the thing and then this also he's gonna close that out too <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys so carrie nays real and yeah and then he um they're gonna put the couches <laughs> quiet <laughs> he's gonna put the couches in the garage because yeah we're removing the floors already and i believe they're gonna take that the yellow out because um the the because the, the guy that's doing the framing he said that um that was supposed to be taken out that's like the floor that they had previous to that and that was supposed to be taken out so they're gonna remove that floor which it's crazy because that floor is super freaking old you guys like Air, I mean, it looks old as it is, and yeah, it's just crazy to see what was underneath, but yeah, you guys, this has been our lives these past couple of weeks, and yeah, I don't know how Jesse has shown you guys around, but we have here the pantry to get some snack for the kids, right there. And then, you guys, we've been freaking eating out. So, yeah, we have here the microwave and the air fryer and the toaster to make something for the kids. And then, I don't know if Jesse has shown you guys, but we have here the cabinets, 
which I think they're gonna install this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, this is our life right now. Hopefully everything, I mean, they're working pretty fast, but hopefully everything gets done ASAP, so. <laughs> Jams fam, so look how Steph is cutting the veggies for what, babe? For what? Why are you cutting that right there? Oh, for tomorrow? For the July? Yeah. I just want to know this, alright? All my buckets. Who? decided to have me doing the food for tomorrow when I don't have a kitchen. Right. The one that doesn't have the kitchen, well, we have a kitchen, but like, the one that's getting the kitchen remodeled is doing the food. That's how, does, how does that make sense? <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm kidding. I think I was the one that told, I think I was the one that agreed. I don't know, but I kind of regret it. Yeah. We should have just bought it made. <laughs> we had to get no, but um, it tastes better when it's like that. Homemade, tastes better. We had to get new knives, new cutting board. Yeah, but we got a small one to well, yeah, just get the all job of done. Our stuff is in boxes. Oh. You almost boxes. dropped it. Hayes, you're over here. He's knocked out. Now what are you gonna do, Beth? The onion. The onion. And the. Cutting thing, what is it called? The the one that like cuts oh the it. vegetable chopper thing. Yeah, that's just a freaking box, and now I'm over here freaking cutting, bro. Struggling, babe. Alright guys, so check it out. The bottom cabinets are getting put together. The black ones are going to be for the center, for the island. It's going to go right here. We got the sink in. We got some of the countertops done. We still have to paint the wood accent wall you still have to finish painting everything's going to be white all right you guys so i wanted to do this video um if you guys didn't know well now you guys know that we remodeled our kitchen and our living room and a couple of more things that you guys are gonna see which i'm excited to, um, i'm excited for you guys to see i literally want to put this video up asap um because i just want to show you guys everything that um everything already finished there's little stuff that still needs to be done but pretty much it's literally like 90 percent done this video well what you guys saw in the beginning it was back it's not like back because like, we're in august but it was in june and we're in august right now and yeah honestly you if if someone would have told me how stressful it would have been i honestly would have 
probably not even consider it to be honest or not even maybe I don't know but I wasn't prepared for all this stress that came along with everything I feel like the way it went down it was the stressful part um, but yeah I wanted to make this video explain to you guys the reason you know why everything kind of like went the way it went um, it didn't went as smooth as I thought it was gonna be I'm not even kidding you guys I shared this on Instagram and I pretty much let you guys know that this the amount of stress that I had this past couple of weeks I honestly it was like the most stressful thing I don't even think I take care of five kids I don't even I don't even think these kids stress me out as bad as I was stressed out pretty much I literally almost cried every single day um, starting in June we wanted to dude when we got this house like me and Jesse had a vision okay we had a vision of like remodeling our kitchen and our restrooms and everything else if you guys have been following us for a while and if you guys want to see how this house was was when we got it go back to our videos um yeah when we bought this house you guys it, it was a fixer upper like there was a lot not a lot but there was a lot of stuff to be fixed and we had to like you know obviously uh, do new renovations but you know this is honestly a motivation I, I could tell you like if you are a first time home buyer and you know just know that like it takes time for you to re uh, renovate your home um it took us four years to remodel our kitchen and our and our living room and everything in the restrooms um so yeah i mean it wasn't as bad it was livable but it wasn't to our liking and yeah so this is honestly if you're watching this don't be discouraged you know um the way your house looks right now you know it takes time it took us like i said four years but yeah anyway so it was um me and jesse had talked about you know renovating our kitchen and our and our living room like i said and um jesse he works in this um in the flooring industry and he knows a lot of you know contractors and he knows a lot of you know uh people that work in construction and all that stuff right so pretty much there's this guy that came uh, gave us a quote and everything and told us like everything like um how much it was gonna be and he told us like he gave us ideas and this and that and you know and honestly like he was like well he is a pretty cool dude you know like he did try to help us you know he did try to help us so point is um jesse knew this guy and um you know we were like okay yeah like, like let's do it you know so he's like i can come this weekend and we can already get it we can already like get it started and like you know doing everything and i was like damn like this this week already like you know like i was like yeah fuck out you like fuck yeah let's do it because i was like dude like i want this to be done asap for the reason that obviously the kids were in vacation so i'm like i don't want to do this when the kids are in school and everything was gonna be you know even more stressful so I'm like let's get it done meanwhile the kids are on vacations and you know like let's get it out of the way so um, he started he started that weekend and he started you know like tearing everything apart and like he then he's uh, and uh, I, I think that same day or the next day he was already taking off the popcorn ceiling and I'm like damn this guy's moving pretty fast so then um, point is I honestly you guys I feel like this was a miscommunication on both of our ends um, I feel like maybe it was our fault for not even like assuming I just I don't know whose fault was it but at the end of the day you know it is what it is but um, point is a long story short this guy had a well has a full-time job um daytime so he was coming only on the weekends and on the um, and then when he would get out of work he will come here so this was kind of like his side job i honestly never like i didn't i didn't put two and two together i thought like the way he made it seem was like i'm gonna like dedicate and we're gonna we're gonna do this because i had mentioned to jesse i'm like i think we should move um, we should move like um, to someone's house or 
we were even planning on getting an Airbnb, so like that, like we could be out of the house because I told them, I clearly told him, I'm like, it's gonna be stressful with the kids, like being with the kids and not being able to use the kitchen and everything else. So I, you know, we talked to the guy, and no, I had mentioned that to Jesse, and then Jesse told the guy, and the guy, you know, he told me, like he even said it in front of me, he said, this will literally take about two weeks, like, you know, don't worry, like, um, I know, you know, with your kids, and he said, um, he said this will take about two weeks and i'm like fuck all right well fuck it let me just suck it up and like you know like fuck it we'll just stay here but i didn't i i honestly didn't want to stay here for the reason that like i knew how stressful it can be especially with kids so i was like you know what okay fuck it like we'll just stay because um at the end of the day like it's not even me it's like now we have the baby and i'm sorry you guys if it's too loud because um i have the the AC on is fucking hot but anyways so I'm like it's not only myself it's not only the girls now we have a baby now like where are we gonna go like you know I don't want to go somewhere over there and you know I just didn't want that so I'm like you know what fuck it I gotta suck it up you know um so I ended up staying and yeah so I started noticing that he was only coming on the weekends and he was coming in the afternoons and when he was coming in the afternoons he was coming about like an like an hour or two sometimes three hours and one time he stayed like till like nine o'clock in that in the in the night so obviously it was taking time you know and i saw that you know days were going by and you know obviously it was only really him it was the electrician as well everything that like had to do with like obviously the, like renovations it was the cabinet guy um so yeah it was just a lot like a lot going on right and you know we were eating out every single freaking day you guys honestly like i was to the point where i didn't even want to eat like i was like dude like i don't know what to eat anymore like we're fucking eating out every single day i even bought i don't know if you guys saw but i even bought something one of those things that you um order from amazon and like you like cook something i even bought one of those dude and i promise you i used it probably twice for the reason that like it takes freaking forever yes it's convenient yes it heats up you know whatever you're gonna cook but i feel like that's for like a one person thing like it's not for a whole fucking family i'm not lying to you guys i literally um I, it took me like probably like 30 minutes to cook to cook um quesadillas for me and jesse and the kids like literally it was taking forever and i was only able to do yeah it, it was a lot so i'm like you know what i'm not using this shit like it was just a lot. I was like, you know what? I'd rather fucking eat out, whatever. Um, that's the reason why I fucking gained weight. Anyways. Yeah, so point is, I would like, as like the weeks were going by, I was like, Jesse, like this is like too much. You know, like I, I feel like oh, we're stuck in the room. And oh my God, dude, that was like the worst part. I would cry because I'm like, bro, like we're literally stuck in a room. I can't even go to the living room. I can't even go to the kitchen. We can't even use anything. We were wa I was washing the baby's bottles in the fucking restroom, which was so like fucking stressful. And you know, obviously the kids like being in the room and like, I'm like, you know what? Like it would be easier if it was just me. But the fact that like I had the kids, that's like, that's like the most stressful thing because at the end of the day they were their kids, you know? Um, Thankfully, Lupe, uh, Lupe was able to get the baby's father to like babysit, babysit them. So technically, they weren't here majority of the time, but it was me and my kids, you know. And yeah, you guys, honestly, it was very stressful. And I told Jesse, I'm like, why didn't he said that like this was gonna be his part time thing? Like, if I knew, honestly, you guys, if I freaking knew that he was gonna come like every single day, like in the afternoons, and he was gonna come in only in the weekends, I would have been like, no, I kind of need somebody to work, you know, like, and then. And then on top of that, it was only one guy, right? And it was only one guy, which, you know, I, I get it. He was trying to help us out. But I told Jesse, I'm like, tell him, like, well, like, if he has somebody, like, you know, we can pay them too. So, like, kind of, like, help him out, you know? And he told him, like, three times. And the guy was like, no, I don't have anybody or whatever. So, I was like, bro, like him by himself like it's a lot of fucking work and i even felt bad i'm like bro like i cannot imagine him going to his daytime job and then coming over here and like um doing this as like the side job you get me and i'm like dude this is a lot for him he already has started so point is um uh point is you know, he was coming and whatever and there was this uh one i it was on a sunday and he messaged Jesse that he was gonna come on Monday. Monday comes around and 
we didn't hear nothing from him, right? And I told Jesse, I'm like, where's your guy? Like, he hasn't shown up. And then Jesse was like, the fuck, that's weird. And then Jesse called him, no answer. And I was like, oh, God. I was like, dude, this is already getting delayed, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck it. You know, maybe he was tired from his first job, whatever. But I'm like, but why didn't he answer you? Why didn't he let you know? So I'm like, okay, whatever. Then the second day goes by and Jesse calls him. Nothing, no call, no show. And I'm like, that's kind of unprofessional. Like, if you can't come, like, just say it, you know? And then third day goes around and no call, no show. And I'm like... I started, now, now I started to worry. I'm like, bro, like, I hope he's okay. Like, I'm like, this is not, like, I'm like, he was coming, like, every, you know, every other day or every day, you know? I'm like, it's kind of odd that he's not answering or he's not, you know? And I'm like, dude, I'm worried for him. So, point is, um, uh, I was like, well, we're going to have to get somebody else because at the end of the day, like, you know, the house needs to be done like you know like i and i told and i was like telling jesse and like dude like i was crying i'm like bro like i can't take this anymore like i just i just want everything to be done with and like it was just fucking stressful you guys so i'm telling you it was very stressful so point is we're gonna have to get somebody else like he's not answering and like you know like like we're not we can't like just sit and wait so we ended up getting someone else thank god thank god we ended up getting someone else and yeah so we ended up getting someone else that can finish you know the job and we i made it very clear to this guy i'm like like i'm now i'm like i gotta make it myself clear you know like so we could both be on the same page i told him i'm like is this gonna be like your job oh are you gonna take over and like this is gonna like you're gonna like focus on this house or do you have other jobs and he's like no 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 like and then like he was very like no like i know you have kids and he even saw like that i had the baby's bottles right there on the sink like you know in the restroom and he was just like no this is too much he's like you know what like we're gonna you know i have my guys and i'm like oh thank god they have guys i was like he has uh, he's like oh i have my guys that you know that can come and like you know get this job done i'm like perfect perfect so we ended up you know getting somebody else and that thursday the guy that you know was doing our job he calls jesse he texts him and calls him and he's like hey i'm gonna go tomorrow to go paint and like he didn't even say like hey i'm sorry or nothing 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 like he didn't even say anything so jesse like i told jesse i was like nah just tell him we got somebody else you know did end up paying him you know for for his job but um um yeah don't think that like we didn't freaking pay him because we did pay him you know um his first half of like starting everything um what's it called uh, so you know we make it clear we did end up paying him so uh yeah i told jesse i was like just tell him that we got somebody else and point is you know i kind of like felt fucked up because um he told me that he told jesse that he was going through a divorce and like he apologizes you know that he was just like you know like um separating from his wife and stuff and i'm like damn that sucks you know because at the end of the day like like he wasn't he wasn't answering us and i'm like that's not that that you know obviously him coming every single time i'm like you know that's not usually him so i like i feel fucked up i'm like damn like you know that sucks but yeah so someone someone else ended up taking over and finishing the job and they worked pretty fast and by i think like i think by when they when that guy took over i think within a couple of days he's over he was already installing the sink and then putting the the stove and he was he was just like making sure like i just want your wife to be happy he was saying jesse i just want your wife to be happy i want to put the sink in right away so like that you guys can you know start washing you know whatever you guys have there and then he put the the stove right away and and then i started seeing like you know like the kitchen and everything coming together and yeah then i started you know obviously like it was it was still a wait time dude because we'll be this to this house it wasn't like nothing like like um like it was just like not kind of i know we had to like new floors new paint uh you yeah everything is just freaking brand new you guys are just gonna have to wait and see and like i said in the beginning we also did an, another extra an extra thing to the house that i'm excited to show you guys thankfully everything's already done well there, like i said when you guys see the video on the next video you guys will see what's missing but pretty much we've been using the kitchen we got 
I don't even want to spoil it for you guys. But yeah, you guys, I wanted to just do a quick video letting you guys know everything that went down. Um, the reason why it took long because some of you guys already knew that I was, you know, we were doing the home renovations and I would get like messages like, hey girl, like when are you posting that video? You know, like obviously they want to see the kitchen and everything. And I was like posting like, um, you know, to help me with the floors and yeah, just stuff like that and if you guys want to follow me on instagram make sure you guys follow me i'll be i leave my instagram down below every single time but yeah you guys i'm pretty excited i feel like a weight has lifted off my shoulders i feel like i can breathe now a little bit um yeah it's just a blessing and honestly i thought about it and like the, the amount of stress that i was having i'm like this is good stress though like i feel like yes i was very stressed and i was crying and everything because you know with everything that was happening but i feel like it was like you know obviously it's, it's a good stress to have which is it's weird but people go through different kind of stress you know like obviously like you know losing a family member stuff like that so i'm like you know at the end of the day it's good stress you know i, I knew that the house was going to be done and even jesse would tell me like babe like just chill like trust me babe like it's almost done no it's almost done um and even for my birthday dude i like my birthday just passed um we went to vegas and that was like a relief to just get out of the house but even for my birthday when we came back um something happened um and i was just crying and like yeah you guys so yeah thank you for watching and make sure you guys stay tuned for our next video which we're gonna be recording and show you guys the house dude i'm not lying to you when you guys see the when you guys see the house you guys are gonna be like what the fuck like even for me like the first couple of days i feel like i was living in an airbnb like it was just unreal like i got my dream freaking kitchen i got it, it, yeah it's just a whole different house and i'm very blessed we're very blessed to be able to you know do this and yeah you guys um, so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that we get notified every time I post a new video What well, the I shook the car look. <laughs> Every time I post a new video Yo, so stay tuned for next video and Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. We're the Gems family and we're jumping out Peace